What's up, guys? It is Fat Adapted Athlete here, and I'm with my fellow moderator from the Facebook Keto Gains site, Tyler Cartwright. Hey. And uh, we're going to be doing a Q&A for you. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself, your background, Tyler. I uh, was 505 pounds when I started. I'm down below 300 now. Uh, what else do I say here? Uh, degrees in business, a master's in business administration, almost a bachelor's in uh, biochemistry. I've got an opinion on everything. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Well, uh, Tyler is very knowledgeable about um, a lot of things scientific when it comes to keto. So um, not only academic experience, but real world, real world experience. Um, Tyler's been more successful at losing weight than anybody I know, so, uh, and still dropping, so doing an awesome job. So we're gonna get right into some questions from you guys uh, from Facebook, Instagram, and uh, this will be a series. So we'll have this introduction in each one and uh, try to address these questions so you can watch these videos separately. And here we go. Okay guys, take two, because we just did a 10 minute clip and realized we weren't recording. So what we were talking about, uh, and we'll start over again, is exogenous ketones sure. or external ketone supplements. Do we need them for weight loss? Well, let's go back a little bit. We didn't cover in the first take here and talk a little bit about the history of exogenous ketones okay. in general. So there's been an ongoing effort that's been done. Dom D'Agostino, I think, was one of the driving forces behind trying to figure out a way to productize a, a supplemental way of taking in ketones because his research is largely focused on the health benefits outside of weight loss um, with regard to ketone consumption or use in the body. Um, they actually pulled that off. Um, there is a company that worked with him, I think, or a couple of you know, scientists that worked with him to pull that off. Um, and so the product was developed and now it's kind of been marketed to people who are interested in the ketogenic diet as a way to lose weight, mental clarity and focus, you know, all of the same things that, that are being encouraged or talked about as side effects of the ketogenic diet are now being effectively sold in a powder that you, you know, add water to and drink and taste like minty oranges or something, I don't know. Um, I do think that they have a purpose or a place, and I do think it was kind of in their original and intended focus, right? Um, you know, they they have a place for people that are epileptic. They have a place for people that are cancerous. They have a place, uh, you know, for people who have some medical issues that may require someone to stay in, key, you know, in a ketogenic lifestyle or ketogenic diet, but they might want to occasionally eat a piece of cake or they might want to have kind of that moment. Mm -hmm. They also kind of have a place in, in potentially in sports performance, right? You know, and that's something that's being researched and looked at now too. Um, but none of those things are necessarily weight loss, right? You know, that they're not, they're not purposed or intended, nor were they ever purposed or intended, nor have there been research studies done that I've been able to find that say, take this, do what you're doing, and magically lose weight, right? You know, magic unicorn gains, as I've jokingly referred to on the website. Um, you know, the, the challenge then becomes, well, what is, you know, how do we use them or place them in the proper context? Well, the first thing I would say is if you want to drink your car payment every month, go nuts. Um, I, I do think that they're very, very expensive. I do think that for the top one, five, ten percent of athletes in the world that are pushing their boundaries every day, potentially there's some benefit. Um, for, and I think those of you that have read the, the article that I put up at ketogains.com, you know, saw me refer to the people as uh, Sally Spin Class and, and uh, you know, Joe Sixpack or whatever. For the rest of us, you know, those of us trying to knock off the 20 pounds we gained in college or, you know, in my case, the 200 pounds I gained in college, um, there's just no evidence that they work. And that's where I think a lot of us end up coming back to is if there's no evidence that they work, 
why would I include something that costs as much as a small car? So uh, one of the big things that they market is that, hey, take the supplement to get into ketosis faster. Is it going to get you into ketosis faster? No. Um, it will cause you to urinate ketones, or I guess in this case, uh, you know, onto keto sticks. Mm -hmm. I think there are some generic versions of those now, but um, it's not the definition of ketosis, or at least it's not the definition that is in most of the nutritional textbooks that I've ever seen, um, because true nutritional ketosis requires that your liver glycogen stores have been depleted to an extent that, that causes the body to think that it's in a state of starvation or that there is a not a ready source of carbohydrate nearby and so it begins to produce a secondary mechanism for you know fueling the body's needs so it begins to you know to beta oxidize fat so what ends up happening is your insulin levels stay low your glucagon level you know the ig ratio is adjusted and so it allows the body to you know to free up some of that stored or trapped body fat or what you consume in dietary form um, and use that and reduce that down as it, you know, produces through this gigantic cascade that looks like spaghetti if you look at it on a piece of paper um, into ketone bodies. Those are used for fueling the brain. They're used for fueling organs that are not uh, organs that want uh, to uh, use or are able to use free fatty acids as an energy source. Um, none of that happens because you take a magic drink, right? Um, if you take the drink, you will absolutely provide your body with ketones and it could lead to some mental clarity and some improvement there, but that's not nutritional ketosis. The nutritional ketosis is a process that takes about 48 to 72 hours to get to and about two to sometimes six weeks to kind of for your body to master in a process called keto adaptation. So Tyler, are you telling us that we can save hundreds of dollars a month by just eating less than 30 and grams of carbs? And you don't even have to talk to a gecko or any of that, right? Wow. So, um, yeah. Crazy. So there you have it, guys. <laughs> now, I will tell you that uh, a lot of things that Tyler and I know are from not only academic knowledge, uh, but from experience with the ketogenic diet. We have not really experimented with exogenous ketones, but we are willing to, if any of the companies out there want to... Uh, send us some samples you can get in touch with me through my youtube channel uh, fat adapted athlete at gmail.com uh, I, I believe tyler is willing to too we're, we're both willing to experiment with them here would be my two cents give me a shout i want to learn the science behind this if you've got the evidence that says that this supplementation causes people to lose weight i'm still a progress uh, you know i'm still i'm not i'm not finished this isn't even my final form thank you Luis. Um, you know, I'm still kind of in, I'm willing to try it, but the problem is I haven't seen any of those studies. Yeah. And since I'm already ketogenic, I have a lot of the benefits with regard to mental clarity and focus and sustainability and the ability to fast without feeling like I want to stab people. Um, I don't necessarily need that expense, but if there is a benefit or if you want to let me see if there's a benefit, give me a shout. So check it out guys. Uh, and we'll let you know if, uh, if we do experiment with those in the future. In the meantime, stand to 30 grams carbs, save yourself a lot of money. Absolutely.